there everyone, this is Bakari Shivana with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I am going to talk about the new Spark Mail Client 3.0. Stick around and check it out. So yes, I am definitely jazzed about uh, Spark Mail 3.0. This is just a beautiful redesign of the application. I know some people disagree with the redesign, but I am loving it and that's the reason why I'm doing this video. First off, let me start off with just right off the bat, the home screen of you know Spark Mail 3.0. This is what you get greeted with if you want to. And uh, basically it opens up with this you know, nice, beautiful picture. I think they changed the picture uh, regularly. And you can also get some of your, you know, some of your mails that are in your mail in your inbox right here. You can see those as well as you can also do a search of mails right here and you can also compose a new mail just from the home screen so that's how far you can get with this as well as open up the um, preferences right here from the whole screen but this home screen is very inviting and you'll see that it says your next email session is scheduled for 11 a.m. basically what you can do this is a great feature in spark mail client is that you can set sessions for d numerous times of the day you know say you want to only check your email uh, three times a day you can set a time for those and and spark will uh, let you know um, you know or, or will notify you when that time is there and even if it doesn't use the notifications it's just there to kind of remind you not to keep going into um, your mailbox uh, throughout the day and you really don't have to if you utilize uh, the features of spark mail client so let's go ahead and get ready to open it and see how what's inside all right, so I am going into my inbox. Um, this is on a Saturday morning, so I don't have a lot of emails uh, like I usually do, and I took off some of them for privacy. But basically, when you open up this clean interface, what you get is a couple things here. Let me show you. First off, you get these kind of notices here that you have a new sender, a new email uh, address coming, and you can choose to accept or block uh, that email address or that sender, right? And you can look at the email first before you decide to accept the block. If you block, you can go in, into a pl uh, part of uh, a Spark and see all your blocked uh, email addresses and unblock them if you want us to as well. So that's a really nice convenient way to kind of, um, you know, control your inbox and what's coming in and out of that. And even if you get some annoying newsletters that you just, and they just, no matter what you do to unsubscribe, to unsubscribe you can just block it and then you won't be bothered with it anymore and, and spark will catch it so you get that also when it, you know you get that there and then two is what happens is is that um, spark breaks up your emails it filters your emails based upon notifications newsletters and you know real people now the my real people here is not uh well i guess this is considered somebody is a real person but this is actually uh, i i wrote to support for liner so basically smart spark is looking at that somebody that i have you know intentionally um uh written to and they put that at the top as a real email in a sense so because this person is writing back to me and then you have your notifications. These are usually like, um, you know, like receipts or something is they want to notify you about something that's going on that you need to know about. And these are your regular newsletters and they tell you here. So when you open these right here and you click on them, you get these. Um, here's all your newsletters here. And you can decide, there's a couple things you can decide to do. You can just click these as done. And basically done is like archiving the email, right? So it's still there. It's still searchable, uh, but you're just clicking to get it out the way. And then you have some other um, actions over here. You can, of course, move it to trash. You can pin it. Um, you can mark it as just red, right? And just leave it in the inbox there. And you can also set it aside. So it, it go down here to your set aside here. And that means that you kind of want to get back to it later, but you don't want it cluttering up your inbox. And then over here, you can also snooze the uh, email, right? And you can snooze it to come back into your, into your, e your inbox um, at a later time. And I really love this because I a lot of times I was Zoom, uh, 
our snooze uh, Zoom meeting um, no, emails or or just or say notifications that I need to come back to say in a week or something like that. This is just really, really handy. And they give you some preset um, snooze um, times, but you also can you know choose one to a, a custom date and time. So that's really, really uh, convenient there. And of course, you can come up here and you can do compose in the compose window here. And uh, and that's really nice as well. So I'm just going to go back here. That's pretty much really the basis of, of, of Spark. I mean, it is uh, really a clean user interface. It's not complicated. There are no three column uh, view, even though they might add that back in. Um, I think they're working on adding that back in uh, for people who want that option. I don't particularly need it or want it. So let me go again. Let me show you something here. So if I were to click this open and then um, say that I go and I, um, I want to click it as done, right? It'll just go to my next email. So just, I just go look at it right there. So that's, that's, that's how I, that's how I do it there. You click it there, you click it as done. Or if I click it as uh, delete, move to trash it'll go to the next email done. Okay. And then it goes back. Great job. I'm done. Go to my inbox and whatever, right? I'll go back to the home. So, I mean, it's like really nice in that sense, nice and clean. Um, and they're going to add back some features that are in Spark 2.0. So some of the features like quick, re quick reply, dark mode, uh, templates are going to be added back into it. Now you also have a, a, a sidebar here um, that, that you can use. I, Again, I don't really need it to be open. Um, I have all my folders down here in, my, in, the, in the Google labels and stuff like that. But quite honestly, I'm trying to avoid using folders and labels. This, this here, the, the search is really quick and I like it for that particular reason. So, and it saves your recent searches. So that's not a problem as well. So I'm doing less of putting stuff in folders and in, in labels, I may do that. I'll do that for clients, you know, for some of my client emails. But for the most part, just the regular emails, I'm not doing that too much. So this is basically uh, Spark in the nutshell. It's, it's, that's what it is, and it has a lot of. Um, it has several keyboard shortcuts. Um, you know, I've also tied um, my uh, shortcuts up to Better Touch Tool, which I use. So a lot of the shortcuts that I use, I use, I, I trigger with um, finger gestures. So you know that um, I'm, I'm a big, heavy Better Touch Tool uh, user. So every time I have a new application, I just kind of map those shortcuts, the most ones that I use, I just map it to a uh, better touch tool finger gestures there. So there you go. And uh, and so this is just really a nice application. I I think some people are hating on it for some reason. And I, I don't know, I think they just used, they're not used to change or don't want to see the change, but you still can stay with Spark uh, 2.0 if you want uh, without a problem. And, um, it, you know, same features. And I think it's, even still free. Uh, this is this this was is a premium um, um, mail client. I think they have the there's a free version that has some some of the features not in it. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe. I think it's about uh, sixty dollars a year. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe because I just really like the design and I like the the, the concept of just really trying to just get in and out of your uh, mail really quickly. So again, I hope that you like this video and I hope that you will give, you know, Spark uh, 3.0 a trial run for seven days and just check it out, you know, and see what you like. And let me know what you think about Spark 3.0. I really appreciate getting your feedback. Thanks a lot.